A convicted sex offender accused of exposing himself to children at a popular bookstore. Good evening to you. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Sonia Gant. Crime Tracker 36 reporter Glenn Counts is digging up new details. He joins us live now from Rock Hill. Well, Sonia, one of the things that makes this story unusual is that this uh, Books A Million has always has a decent-sized crowd in there. And police say that this past Monday, a man disturbed the peace here in a very disturbing way. Police say that Eric Smith, all six feet, 280 pounds of him, visited the children's section, pretending to read a dictionary, and allegedly exposed himself to the children and the employees in the bookstore. Unspeakable, really. I, you know, wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought that people would be so bold to do, you know, that, even a sex offender. An officer was sent to investigate. He noticed the way Smith's shorts were situated that you could see everything. In his report, he said when he walked over to confront the 33-year-old man, he pulled his shorts down to cover up. I'm surprised because it, Books A Million is always really busy. You know, it's crowded, you know, with, I mean, all walks of life. As the officer put Smith in his patrol car, a witness came up to tell him that she saw him doing the same thing the day before inside the bookstore's coffee shop. He's been charged with indecent exposure, and some customers think he should get the book thrown at him. And not some little slap on the wrist with some public service or anything like that. If he's already been a registered sex offender, it's pretty, apparently that's just not working, whatever they did the first time. Well, in addition to uh, indecent exposure, police say they also found some marijuana inside Smith's car, so he has been charged with possession as well. Reporting live from our mobile newsroom here in Rock Hill, Glen Counts News Channel 36. A club brawl.